Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. As some of you know, we purchased the king of all mangoes, the Alfonso Mango. And last cooking video, I made the Alfonso Mango Lassi. And today, I have leftover mangoes and I am going to try to make the Alfonso Mango Kulfi. And Kulfi translates to ice cream and I think little Alfonso is going to love it. Every time we go to an Indian restaurant here, we always get Kulfi and it is delicious. I've never actually made homemade ice cream before ever. This will be my first time, so stay with me through this video. Let me know what you think, give me those tips, and let's get into the mango kulfi. So first we're gonna start by skinning the mango. So this box had 12 in them, and look at the Alfonso mango. I don't know if they're bigger in India, but we are going to skin them. There was a lot of different ways of skinning this um, that I saw online, but I think for me the easiest is just peeling the skin off like that. Nice and thin. Look at that color. That is the beautiful Alfonso mango color. This mango is so creamy and so smooth and sweet and I like to use the word rich because I've never had like a mango tasting this rich before. Whoops. So we're gonna skin all of them and then I'm going to cut it into cubes. Let's just go a little bit like that. This is gonna be a bit of a process guys because we have to freeze, we have to freeze this for four hours. So we gotta start now so little Alfonso can try it before he goes to bed. When you guys get to the seed, like I have here, you can squish out the juices, just like that. This is super potent. I feel like there's so much nutrients in this like mango. Okay, we got five more to go. Okay, so the mangoes are cut up and now the next stage is to put it in a bit of a strainer here. Um, in the video that I'm following, it just says that this will reduce some of the ice crystals that might pop up. Probably could have cut that a little bit finer, but it says, so let this rest. As you can see, it's kind of already dripping through here. Let this rest for five minutes. Give it a little tap a and then we're gonna blend it up. Okay guys, our mango was sitting for about five minutes and now we're going to blend it up. Get all that mango in there. And here we go. The Alfonso mango just has that beautiful color. I can't get over it. Mmm, the sweetness is perfection. Okay, we're going to now put it back into the bowl. Look at that beautiful color. Get all of that. Perfect. Okay, next on the recipe is to add the condensed milk. So this looks like about two cups. We add our condensed milk, that's what's, what, that's what's gonna add that sweetness. So on top of the condensed milk, you could add more sugar, but we're gonna keep this nice and light. Give this a nice mix. That looks really nice. Okay. And 
And we should try it though before we blend up the whipping cream. Mmm, mmm, that has that perfect sweet and creamy flavor. It does not need any more sugar. This tastes perfect. So now guys, the next part is to whip up the whipping cream. So moving on, I got this organic heavy whipping cream and the recipe calls for one and a half cups. Ooh, that's thick. That's one. This is what's gonna give it that super nice, creamy, fluffy. Where's the half? Oh, there it is. <laughs> and half. Give it that creamy, fluffy, light texture. Now, you can do this with a hand whisk, but I got this handy dandy electric whisker. I don't know if that's what it's called. <laughs> I hardly use this because I only use it to make like this coconut, or no, um, chickpea bread. It's really, really good actually. Um, but let's, hold on, put it in first. This is gonna take to seven minutes. <laughs> so guys, I took that fluffy cream and I slowly mixed in the mango uh, puree and I came out with this beautiful, soft, fluffy ice cream. Doesn't that look delicious? <laughs> so next is to plate it. Now you can put it in a bread pan but I was thinking of putting it in, this is like a kind of a cupcake or muffin uh, pan. So I'm gonna put it in here because some of the restaurants, they give you the kufi like this with a hard flat top and they put pistachios. So I'm gonna do it like this and then even for little Alfonso, he can have like half of one a day and there you go. So let's plate it. I'm gonna move that a bit. So slowly, I'm not sure. How full I want to bring this. It's very light. There we go. I want to show you guys too, just to make some fun like art. Watch what I'm going to do here. So I just filled it up halfway. I had some leftover um, mango like pureed from the blender. I'm going to add a little dot like that. Then I'm going to take a stick, well this is a spoon, or a, a straw, and look at this. I'm gonna swirl, a little swirly, in the middle, push it down. And this one. And then I'm gonna add a little extra on top. This is just for fun. <laughs> you don't have to do this. But maybe you can layer it even more, and then it's gonna have like that really nice uh, swirl on the middle. Let's fill up all of them. You guys have to let me know in the comments if you've ever made homemade kulfi before. And if you did, did you do this one? Maybe there's more recipes. I saw some Malai uh, kulfi or something like that. That sounded really good. Oh wow. I think I'll be able to fill this up even more. And then I'm gonna design the top of it too because I think it could look really cool. Since this is the first time I'm ever making ice cream ever. I'm gonna add a little bit more to this one too. Okay, let's add our design. One, two, Ooh, just enough. Let's get all of that mango. Okay, let's add the swirl. Okay. 
Okay, cool. I love the design. I hope little Alfonso likes the design. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it. I think it was kind of fun, actually. So next, we are going to put this in the freezer. It's going to be there for about two and a half to four hours. I'm going to check on it because I'm not sure. Um, and then we're going to see Alfonso's reaction to it. I am really excited. I hope he likes it. Okay, guys, it's been about four hours, and now let's see if the kufi is set. Ooh! Wow! Look at this! Look at the swirls on that kufi! That looks amazing! I love the little bits of uh, the mango that we added here to make that nice swirl. This looks like professional level. So now the real test will be if our professional dessert taster, Alfonso, likes the kufi. So we're gonna put it on a plate, we're gonna show it to Alfonso and see what he thinks. Okay, I am here with my professional dessert taster, Alfonso. Hi. And I have the mango kufi in front of us. What do you think of the color? I look so uh, yeah, I know. It's those Alfonso mangoes. That's yeah. like your name. Yeah. That's what's so exciting about this is Alfonso is eating Alfonso mango. Okay, let's try it. I'll help you get the first little bit. It's like a Ooh, fun. look at this. Oh, it's that looks so good. Did you see it? It's like Alfonso is eating Alfonso. Yeah. <laughs> okay, are you ready? I'm going to cut you a bite. Whoops. <laughs> okay, there. You can have that one. Wait. There you Wait. go. That's a big bite, guys. First time making mango kufi with Alfonso mangoes. That's good. Is it good? You like it? Good job. Thank you. Alfonso likes it, so I got the Alfonso approval. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Okay, let me try it here. I love that I put it in this shape. Oh, it's cold. Look at this. It's so Look at the cold. inside of that. I don't see the swirls like I did when I took it out of the freezer. Um, it's more at the top, so maybe next time I'll push it deeper. Mmm. That tastes like awesome. Mmm. Mmm. Awesome. <laughs> it is good. It's very good. It's creamy. It's, it's that heavy whipping cream. Yeah. And whipping it for so long. Whipping it. Mmm. And then the mangoes were already sweet on its own, and then you have that condensed milk. Oh, nice. So this, I didn't add any sugar on top of the condensed milk. It's just super creamy. Do you want me to help you get a bite? No. Look at that thickness. Mmm, guys. It's good. This is so tasty, so Double creamy. Thumbs up. Double thumbs up. Guys, so we just made, what, six kufis? Six little individual ones. We used all of our Alfonso mangoes. Um, you guys have to stay tuned because I am still doing a Malai kofta from scratch. This is one of my favorite vegetarian dishes. That's so hard. <laughs> I gotta help Alfonso over oh, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like this video, subscribe so we can continue making videos for you guys. 